Here we have a badly abused 2 inch auger bit. I'm going to see if I can fix it. This is the new drill fixture. I'm using a safe edge file and I'm just filing the radial edge to bring it back where it's supposed to be. Holding the drill bit at a 35 degree angle from vertical. That lets me run the file flat across it so that when I'm all done and I remove the 5 degree uh, relief angle on the back, I end up with a 30 degree cutting edge. About the same as a standard chisel. This auger bit has a bent shank. I tried tapping it. It moved a little bit, but I don't think it's very controllable. So I'm going to take a big wrench and slip it over the end of the shank and use that as a lever to bend it straight. By laying the auger on the table and then rolling it back and forth, I can watch and see if there's a wobble in the shank. I'm using a 7 8 box end wrench to slip over the top of the shank on the auger bit. That way I can pry it around where it's running straighter. And I'll run it back and forth across the table again. The shank has a kink in it. I'm going to take this two pound ball peen hammer and see if I can drive it out. With the shank fairly straight, I'm going to give it a test run. Just take this old chunk of 2x4 and see if I can't get a hole to start in it. The repaired threads on the pilot screw are working, pulling that auger bit right on in. Now the sharpened edges are starting to shave away the wood. But we're getting a bit of drag. Tighten up the handle and let's see what it does. It's cutting. It's a lot of resistance. The pilot screw pulled out of the wood. When it broke through the back side, it lost grip on the wood and uh, stripped. Stopped pulling. You can see where the pilot screw is sticking through. We'll rig it up with a backer board on this 2x4, see if we can't get it to drill all the way through. Pilot screws pulling good. Radial edges are cutting. This time it strips out after going just about three eighths of an inch. Got something wrong here. Somebody sharpened this auger bit incorrectly. They filed on the outside of the spurs. That reduced the cutting diameter of the bit and made it so that the flutes drug in the hole. After 3 eighths of an inch, when that harder piece of wood, it just didn't have enough strength to shear through the wood and, and keep on going. To make the auger bit work again, I'm going to have to reduce the diameter of the flutes by 30 thousandths per side. And that's a tremendous amount of material to remove. This is a hand-forged auger bit, and 
and it's got too much run out to just take the lathe tool and turn it around. That was a lot of filing. Hopefully that's going to work. Uh-oh, still having problems. Still pulling out after just three-eighths of an inch of entrance. Let's take a look and see what it's doing. The radial edges just aren't biting in and the screw isn't strong enough to pull a, the radial edges in. When I look at the back edge, I can see that the wood is actually polishing the face of the uh, auger bit. It's rubbing right behind the cutting edge. That tells me I got a problem with a relief angle. Now I'm going to be doing something that I keep telling everybody not to do. I have to change the relief angle on the back side of the auger bit so that that leading edge can dig into the wood and do some cutting. Using a safe edge file so I don't bugger up the threads on the pilot screw. I'm trying to give it back that 5 to 10 degree angle on the back side of the radial cutting edge. Okay, we've gone through and repaired the screw on the pilot. We've sharpened the chisel edges. We've sharpened the spurs. We've reduced the diameter on the flutes. Breakthrough. 